where's Tom Brady going next year? I've got a few theories. Let's go. This is Drew with Trust the Process. I don't generally talk sports on this channel, but it is what it is. The last video and this video, both sports, A. Eh? Sometimes it'd be like that. This channel's all over the place. Uh, first things first, I wanna say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Much, much appreciated. But to the subject at hand, where's Tom Brady gonna be playing next year? I listen to all these talking heads. I listen to all these buffoons that seem to have an opinion. And I feel like, you know what, if all these buffoons are gonna have their opinion, then why not express my opinion? Why not talk about what I think is going to happen? It's a love-hate relationship that I have with the NFL right now because honestly, I feel like it's rigged. I felt like it's rigged. I felt like all of professional sports are rigged for quite some time, but lately it's just become more obvious. Like if you were to ask me who I think is going to end up in the Super Bowl this year, I would say that the Buffalo Bills from the AFC are my favorites. The whole DeMar Hamlin, the storyline, just everything is lining up, right? You look at last year with Sam Bradford, the Los Angeles Rams, that entire storyline. The year before, Tom Brady coming to Tampa. It's just every single year, there's that story that the NFL wants to just run with. It's a business, it's money. So the Bills are my favorites right now. And I know that's an easy pick. I mean, on paper, they're a good team regardless, but just you add that storyline and it is what it is. If somehow the Bengals can win today against the Buffalo Bills, which I'm not saying it wouldn't or couldn't happen, I would be shocked. I think it's gonna be Bills Chiefs next week. And, uh, and then I think that the Bills finally get over that hump. Who are they gonna play though? NFC is pretty wide open. And I think the NFC is gonna be pretty wide open for the next several years, which is why I think Tom Brady's gonna stay in the NFC, but I don't think it's gonna be with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you're a Tampa Bay sports fan such as myself, and please don't let the hat fool you, I just love the city of Boston, might end up moving there. I, I really, I love the city that much. But if you're a Tampa Bay sports fan and you feel as though Tom Brady's going to come back next year, I think you may be a bit delusional. Now, I'm not saying there's no chance. I'm saying there may be a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Maybe like 1% that he comes back to Tampa Bay, but, but that's slim to none. That's like... More like one out of a million. Everything else on the board falls off. So the three spots that I think Tom Brady could land in next year, no particular order here, by the way, the Las Vegas Raiders, the Miami Dolphins, the San Francisco 49ers. Those are the three teams. Those are the three most likely that I feel like he could land in next year. So I'm gonna give my reasons as to why I feel like those are the three teams, why I think two of those three teams shouldn't go after Tom Brady, but why they should all go after Tom Brady. This is gonna be all over the place anyway. So let's start with the Las Vegas Raiders, all right? It's already been confirmed. Him and Gronkowski were supposed to go to Vegas and play for the Raiders. That fell through because John Gruden wanted to stay with Carr. Now looking at Derek Carr, and the relationship that he had with John Gruden. I've actually got some respect for John Gruden for, for saying, you know what, this is my guy. I'm gonna stay with him. Was he a bit delusional? Could the Raiders have won a Super Bowl with Tom Brady? I think so, but, but regardless, um, that was his guy. He wanted to stay with him, and so the deal fell through. Tom Brady ends up in Tampa. The rest is history, okay? Could he end up in Vegas? I could see him ending up in Vegas. That was where he was supposed to go a few years ago, fell through, didn't happen. I could see him going there. Why he would go there, I don't know. It's the AFC, you look at that division, you got the Chargers, the Chiefs. The Denver Broncos are gonna hire somebody big this year as their head coach, all right? And if you think they're gonna bomb out again, well, you could be right. I, I don't know, I don't have any faith in Russell Wilson, but but that's one of the toughest divisions in the NFL. So Brady goes to the Raiders. Look, I'm not saying he can't win in that division, but that's gonna be a tough division to win in. Next, the Miami Dolphins. Well, there are some pros and cons to going to Miami. The pros being Tyreek Hill is in Miami. You've got a team, you've got a coach, you've got an offense that looks like 
if you put a quarterback in there that can actually play, no offense to Tua, but I'm just saying, just saying, you could probably do pretty well. I mean, even a decent quarterback is going to do pretty well in that system. So, man, you give Tom Brady a Tyreek Hill, you give him an offensive coordinator like that, an offensive coach like that. I mean, I'm just saying, you get two chances to play your former team, the Patriots. You get to play against the Buffalo Bills. Like, there's some pros and cons, right? The good is that you get to have an offense like that. You get to play your former team twice a year. The cons, again, you're in a pretty tough division. Even the Jets look pretty good. If they get themselves a decent quarterback, they might actually be a team to contend with. Well, no, we'll see if that actually happens. I mean, this is the Jets we're talking about. But regardless, again, it's a tough division. Rumors last year that the Miami Dolphins were tampering. Well, I can't say that's a rumor. They got in trouble for it. So they were clearly tampering with Tom Brady. So on one hand, I say, yes, there's something there going on, right? He could end up going to Miami. But but would that have been with a Sean Payton? Would that have, I, who knows? I don't know. I don't know the full story. I don't think any of us are going to know the full story until they do like a 30 for 30 special on ESPN 10 years from now and we find out what really happened with Tom Brady. I don't know. But regardless, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I could see him going to Miami. I could also see Lamar Jackson ending up in Miami. So there's that. There's going to be some things that happen this offseason that are going to come into play and it's going to affect where Tom Brady ends up. And that's why I think Tom Brady is saying right now, give me two months because he wants to see all this play out. The final team, the San Francisco 49ers, I think that's the most logical pick. And it's funny because I see a lot of people telling me, well, they've already got three quarterbacks that are better than Tom Brady. Well, I don't know about that. When Tom Brady is Tom Brady, you got a chance, right? So saying that Garoppolo, Lance, and Purdy now are quarterbacks that are better than Tom Brady, that's a stretch for me, all right? Let's look at this situation here. Now, I think for me, today's game, the Dallas Cowboys versus the San Francisco 49ers, I think this is the game that tells me what's going to happen with San Francisco and Tom Brady. The 49ers come out and they win this game. I honestly feel like that's it. Tom Brady's not going to San Francisco next year. Now, they could still lose against the Eagles next week. They could still lose in the Super Bowl. They could still lose at any point in time. And whoever is the quarterback at that time, which right now would be Purdy, uh, if they look bad, I could see the 49ers organization saying, look, we've got a squad. We just need a quarterback. We just need that guy. If Purdy does fine, let's say he wins the Super Bowl this year, well, clearly they're not going to go out and sign Brady. But if he gets blown up by Michael Parsons tonight, you think that the San Francisco 49ers wouldn't take a hard look at Brady if he's available? Come on. The window is only open for so long. So I think tonight's game is going to play a big part in where Brady ends up next year. Now, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on this, but but I was told by the powers that be when searching throughout the internet that the referee, like the, the main guy, the referee that's going to be handling this game between the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys, Bill Vinovich. Vinovic? Vinovich? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Either way, the 49ers are 3-4 and four at home with him as the referee and I believe that they're like 0-4 in their last four games like I believe that's the record now I'm not 100% sure on that but 3-4 and four at home with Vinovich as the referee now everyone wants you to believe that the 49ers have the advantage here right? they got two days extra rest they've got that squad their defense everything about them right the offense even with Purdy as a quarterback right Everyone wants to have you believe that the 49ers are that team. The 49ers are favored in this game. Not by much, but they're still favored. And at home, 
you've got to be thinking that the 49ers have the edge here. I don't like the 49ers in this game. Now, I'm not saying that the 49ers won't win this game, but I don't like the 49ers in this game. I have no dog in this fight, okay? I'm not a Cowboy fan. I'm not a 49er fan. I am a Buccaneers fan that somehow hopes that that 1% chance of Tom Brady coming back next year happens, but, but let's be real, that ain't going to happen. So, Cowboys win this game, all right? Hopefully, I'll be able to edit this and get this video up before the game kicks off tonight so that I can say, hey, look, I put this pick out there before the game happened. And then either case, if I'm right or wrong, it's out there, right? But I think the Cowboys win this game. I think Purdy looks bad. And I think Tom Brady goes to San Francisco next year. You look at the, the storyline, the ratings, everything plays out well if the 49ers lose this game. Now, if the 49ers win this game, you still got that storyline, right? You've got the whole Purdy situation, Mr. Irrelevant. You've got that whole thing that the NFL can run with. So there's always going to be a storyline. But can you imagine the Dallas Cowboys facing off against the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game? That's huge. And then let's say that I'm right about the Bills making it to the Super Bowl. I mean, can we just stop for a second to think about the implications here? Like, two of the biggest franchises as far as, like, their fan bases that are going to go bananas. The Dallas Cowboys versus the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl? I mean, I believe that was, like, the matchup when the Bills went to the Super Bowl their first go-round, you know, and they lost four in a row. Man, I feel bad for their fan base, but but that would be something just not gonna say scripted, but that'd be a story. So if you're a conspiracy theorist, if you've got your tinfoil hat on, man, whew, that'd be one. That'd be one to look at. And when we look at how bad the Cowboys looked against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in that first game of the season and where they are now and how good they look right now. If they come out to San Francisco today and they dominate, seems a little funny to me. Especially with two days less rest than the 49ers had. Anyway, I'm just saying. The 49ers should win this game. But look for some funny stuff to happen in this game, especially with uh, Vinovich as the referee. So we'll see. We shall see. My gut tells me that the 49ers lose this game. Tom Brady ends up in San Francisco next year. But my head says the 49ers should win this game. The 49ers face off against the Eagles next week, which will be a tough matchup. And then who knows who's going to win that game. But the script is in for the Bills to win the Super Bowl this year. That's, that's what the logical side of me says. Will that happen? Who knows? I've been wrong many times in my predictions, so it wouldn't shock me if I was wrong this time. But that's what I got. That's my theory. And that's just a Drew theory. Until next time, I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I will always trust the process, and I will talk to you all later. I'm out. Peace!